A 4.8 magnitude earthquake. An earthquake shakes the northeast and we are still feeling aftershocks. The earthquake with the epicenter here in New Jersey. Breaking news out of New York where an earthquake. An earthquake. We just experienced an earthquake. Several airports including Newark International Airport and JFK are all on ground stop to check runways for damage from this quake. Oh my gosh, I just got to Newark. I am so tired. It was such a long day today. We were like hours and hours delayed because the plane was late coming in from Honolulu. But we made it. I am gonna order some food now. It's kind of late, but the ice in my lunchbox melted, so I'm like a little bit nervous to eat the food now. So I'm gonna order something on like Uber Eats or something. Okay, much better. Sorry the lighting is so bad in here. Let's do this. Uh, are you kidding me? That is so much better. Well, tomorrow we just have an easy day now. We just do one flight from Newark to Tampa and then I'm done. I have zero days off. I go back to work the next day, but that's okay. I'll get to see Felix for a little bit. John will be staying home with him, obviously. I just ordered some food. So basic, I got chicken tenders. Don't judge me, don't come for me. Okay, well, I just waited like an hour and a half for that food and they canceled the order. So I'm going to bed. I'm so so extremely tired. I'm actually like kind of happy they canceled the order because I was like, I cannot wait anymore. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will talk to y'all. Oh, sorry if I just made you yawn. I'll talk to y'all in the morning. I did not sleep good last night, but that's okay. I'm gonna get up and get showered. We're just dead heading home today, so flying as a passenger, which is really nice. I don't have to work, which I'm really excited about. It is so dark in here right now. I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see. I have the hangers blocking out the light on my curtains. Best flight attendant tip I learned like seven years ago. I finally have the energy to get myself out of bed and start getting ready for the day. I need to shower and get ready. I was looking at my bag and I really don't have anything that I could wear on the plane besides my uniform, so I'm definitely gonna be stuck wearing that today. I did not bring a lot of clothes on this trip because I wasn't planning on doing anything, so kind of shot myself in the foot with that one, but that's okay. We'll suffer through and wear my uniform on the deadhead today. I'm gonna jump in the shower, start getting ready. I have still not eaten anything. I'm like so hungry. Um, I went downstairs to see what they had for breakfast and it was just nothing I wanted. And then I was gonna order food, but it was gonna be like 40 bucks. And I was like, I'm not spending $40 on breakfast. So that was out of the question. I'm gonna get food when we get to the airport, hopefully. I should have a little bit of time. And then obviously we get to go home. I'm super excited. I start another trip tomorrow night. And then my birthday's coming up. My birthday's April 10th. So shout out to my fellow Aries. Earthquake near me. Hey, dude, I'm not kidding. I swear to God, we just had an earthquake. Yeah. No, literally go on the news right now. I, I swear to God. We're gonna go outside. I actually cannot believe that that just happened. <laughs> I, 
I don't even know what to say. Like, thank God. I mean, it was not like this major earthquake, but like, I've never really been in like an earthquake before. There was a very, very small one once when I was in California, but like, this was a lot bigger than that. I'm like shook right now. I called John and he literally thought I was kidding because he Googled it and there was like nothing on the news. Now there's like a bunch of news articles breaking, like they're posting stuff on like Instagram and stuff. Okay, here's ABC News. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude 4.8 rocks the Northeast shaking buildings. No, literally it shook the building. <laughs> Gosh, this is crazy. Okay, like you don't expect this to happen in New Jersey. I mean, I guess an earthquake could happen anywhere, but like when you think of earthquakes, you kind of more think of the West Coast, not like New York City, New Jersey. Uh, I was actually able to pull it up on Google. It says magnitude 4.8 earthquake, one mile from Tewksbury, New Jersey. And that was at 1023 AM. So like a little over like half an hour ago. Look at this. What the heck? This is like actually insane. I really need to get in the shower <laughs> and I was supposed to get a shower and like get up early and get ready and go to the airport early so I could get food. Obviously that's not gonna happen now. Thankfully everybody's okay and nobody got hurt. I checked in with my whole crew, they're all. Okay, it's a little late. It says a 4.7 magnitude earthquake has occurred in the NYC area. Residents are advised to remain indoors and call 911 if injured. More info. This is crazy. Oh my God, that literally scared the out of me. Uh, I was saying, thank God my whole crew is okay. Everyone's safe. We're all gonna go to the airport. Everyone's good. Fingers crossed, um, obviously like, I really don't know much about earthquakes, but one thing I do know is like there could be aftershocks. So knock on wood, there are no aftershocks. We can just get out of here and go home safely. <sighs> I really need to jump in the shower though, because if I don't do it now, I'm actually gonna be late for work and I cannot afford that today. <laughs> I'm like actually scared to get in the shower now. <laughs> like I don't wanna be in the shower and there'd be like another freaking earthquake, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get in the shower. We're gonna be brave. This earthquake will probably be my personality for the next six to eight weeks. But that's okay because it's fine, it's fine. I'm like actually a little shook up still. Like that was actually really crazy. I didn't even get a chance to get in the shower. I'm so glad that that happened as I was getting ready to get in the shower. The only thing I wish is that my camera was on. I would have loved to see my face during that. I was probably like, Okay, very thankful for an uneventful shower. There was no earthquakes, there was no shaking. It was a nice, calm, collected shower. I need to start getting ready now because I have to be downstairs in like 25 minutes. So I've been trying to like find like the news or whatever so I can see kind of what's going on because everything has like obviously settled down now, at least for the time being. Again, knock on wood. But the only thing I've really seen so far are like graphics on Instagram and like nothing like actually being reported yet. But it's been like not even an hour since the earthquake, so that might be why. We are continuing to follow breaking news. The United States Geological Survey says that the Northeast has been hit by a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. They report the epicenter is White House Station in central New Jersey, but shaking could be felt in parts of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. All right, let's go to work. We just got word that our flight is a little bit delayed right now because the Newark airport is closed to check for damages. I don't know if they're checking for damages to like the runway or the planes or whatever the case may be, but regardless, we are delayed. We're still gonna go to the airport because one, I'm hungry, and two, we don't know if it's gonna be a rolling delay, which means that it's just gonna keep getting more and more delayed or if it's just gonna be like, a one time half an hour delay and then we'll go. So we're just gonna go and see what happens. Whatever happens, it's gonna be fine. I'm actually not mad we're delayed because now that gives me time to get some food when we get there. I obviously will keep you guys updated through the entire day on what's going on. Let's go jump on the shuttle. So I'm in the airport now. We've obviously made it over here and everything is delayed. Like all the flights are delayed. Apparently they had to like close the runway in the airport down to check for damage. And I actually heard that the air train here is damaged. I went to um, look at my flight and let me find a little delay code. It literally says an earthquake in the Northeast has limited the number of planes allowed to land or depart Newark. This may result in delayed safety to our passengers that are number one 
is our number one priority. So we're gonna sit here for a while now. I don't know when we're gonna leave. As of right now, we're about three-ish hours delayed. I don't know if that's gonna be a rolling delay, so it could get longer. So we're gonna sit and wait. <laughs> I really don't know. The crazy thing is like, we have to be worried about aftershocks, you know? I got a notification earlier, like an emergency alert on my phone, and it says, Earthquake, aftershocks may be felt. You can continue your usual activities, just use caution. Oh, also, in the realm of crazy events that we had today, um, I don't really know him, I don't watch the show, but Stephen Colbert, the late night host, was sitting next to us at breakfast earlier. I did not ask for a picture, though, because I didn't want to bother him, and somebody else was already bothering him, so I was like, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't even know that I would have recognized him, except my crew member that I was having breakfast with texted me and was like, is that Stephen Colbert? And I was like, that is Stephen Colbert. <laughs> So that's a fun fact. Just another crazy moment of this trip. Yeah, so I'm reading this article and it's basically saying that all flights are grounded at Newark and JFK. So no clue when we're gonna get out of here. I would say maybe you can like see in the background, like things have started moving again in the airport, like people are walking around. Apparently, this is what I heard. I wasn't in the airport when it happened, obviously, but apparently people saw the ceiling shake and they got really scared and that actually would have freaked me out too. And I'm like not 100% sure because I don't really live in an earthquake prone area but I think when that happens you're like supposed to get under the table right like if you live on the west coast or somewhere where there's earthquakes comment down below and tell me like the best way to protect yourself during an earthquake come here come here what are you scared of the camera are you scared of the camera hey Hi, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. You love that operation toy. What are you doing? Hi. Good morning, y'all. It has been like 24 hours now since the earthquake. I am home and well. I have to start getting ready for work here in a little bit. Um, You just saw Felix, he's outside playing with John. I feel like I don't even know what this video is gonna be. It's just like pieced together of like random clips. I'm not sure what's gonna be in this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I actually am probably gonna vlog my next trip that starts on my birthday. We're going out of the country, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I try my best to respond to all of your comments, good, bad, ugly, whatever the comment is, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.